Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on yet another word problem. This time we're dealing with distance, slash time, slash travel, slash catch up, or catching up. It's more of a turtle catch the rabbits type of story, or maybe the other way around. So here's the problem. Train A travels slower and train B travels faster. If the train A, well actually one of my favorite things or my, one of my kids' favorite toys is trains when they were little. I still have them lying on the floor. So here's train A. It's going to pass a train station here at 1.10 in the morning. Boy, hope you're not up to 110. Um, and then it's going to keep on going at some distance away from the train station. We don't know where. Let's call it distance D. There's our train A here. Okay. At some distance away, this train B that starts a little later, maybe the conductor falls asleep. Okay. It travels faster at 80 miles per hour. So zoom through the same station at 1.25 a.m. So basically it's 15 minutes later. Or we should say uh, 0 0.25 hours later. Now this is actually important because we got a miles per hour. We want to make sure all the units are lined up. There are 60 minutes in an hour, so 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. Um, that's one way to look at it. Or you can just say 15 divided by 60. You have exactly the same thing. Okay, so this train zooms through and trying to ca catch up because it's fell asleep. It's traveling faster, trying to catch up at the some distance d. Now, when they say catch up, literally they mean think about. It. When some, someone catch up with you, they are at the same distance or same distance with a reference point. That's what we mean by catching up. Okay, so here's the rabbits and catching up with the turtle who left a little earlier. So the thing we really need to do is make sure that our units and our variable is very clear and concise defined. So at this distance, let's define t as the time train A, the slow one, traveled since 110. Okay. This is very important. The definition of the variables is what's going to define what our solution. And once you have the T solved, you got to know at the same time from the station, train B only traveled T minus 0 0.25. Now this is very important because train B has less time because it caught up at 125. It was 10, 15 minutes late. Okay, so it has to travel faster. It's not plus, even though this looks like it's 15 minutes more, but it's not. It's 15 minutes shorter. Okay. Now next thing is really easier than that. At at catching up when they're actually caught up. What the distance traveled by train A, distance by train A, that's the slow one. Let's see if we can attempt to draw a turtle here. Here's our turtle. Okay. Train A travels 60 miles per hour. It traveled a T hours. Let's put our units here. It's equal to, when it caught up, the distance is equal to the same as distance traveled by, by train B, which is the faster one. Okay, let's draw bunny rabbits here. Oh, it's going to be a horrendous bunny, poor bunny. All right, but you get the picture. Okay, so this is 80 miles per hour and it traveled T minus 0 0.25. Once again, it's 0 0.25 because we've got to get the units consistent. Consistent. All right, from here onward, it's really easy to solve. You have 60t equal to 80t minus, let's multiply it in there. Okay, this is a quarter, so minus 20. Move the 20 over. Minus 20, which is 
uh, is that right? 20. That's right. And then move the 20 over, you have 80. T is equal to 80. Uh, let's see, what did I do? 80 T minus. Uh, this is a mess. What I, what I was trying to do, ah, here's what I want to do. 60 T minus 80 T is equal to minus 20. So T is actually equal to, let's see, one hour. So basically, when it's caught up at the time, it should be 2.10 a.m. when the both trains are exactly at the same time. Because T, remember, is the hour travel traveled by the slower train. Okay? All right. I hope this one is clear. Uh, let's do a quick review here. Um, let's see, what do I want to say? Picture is important. When you're dealing with the traveling distance scenario, what's really important is to make sure you have the right picture. And the second that's important is you find out what is the same when the desired scenario is reached. So at the catching up, when they caught up, both trains traveled exactly the same distance. Okay, one traveled T hours, the other one was less than 15 minutes less. So you multiply them out, so this is minus 20 here, uh, minus 80 T on both sides. I have minus 20 T equal to minus 20, so T is equal to, apology, T is equal to one hour, which means at 210, both trains are exactly at the same place. All right, that's how we handle this type of distance time slash travel catching up type of problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun and easy. Well, at least trying to. I don't know about train. Boat is my favorite traveling tools. All right, please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.